So let's take this piece by piece here. Um, I'm going to talk about my hammock here. This is the uh, it's a Warbonnet Blackbird. This is a 1.7 double layer. I've got uh, descender rings on both sides, two for per each side, uh, with just some um, amp steel continuous loops on the ends. Um, that's my hammock. Uh, my suspension. This is my suspension. I've got 15, two pieces of 15 foot webbing. Uh, this is the one inch webbing from Arrowhead Equipment. Um, it's got uh, two carabiners, um, you know, one on each piece of webbing. I also have six um, MSR Groundhog stakes. I have uh, two Dynaglide extenders in case uh, the trees are too big or too far apart. I keep those, those are, uh, I believe, about 10 feet. And then I have my uh, Blackbird, um, this is the shock cord that goes on the head, uh, the, the shelf, and the side tie out. I keep those separate um, from the actual hammock. So that's my suspension. Uh, for quilts, I have a 20 degree, um, this is a hammock gear 20 degree um, incubator. It's the Purple People heater. Uh, that's my under quilt. I've got for my top quilt, that is a War Bonnet um, Mamba TQ. That's the long version. Uh, and it's a zero degree. Um, so I don't have a uh, three season top quilt yet. Um, so that's what I take out with me for three season um, backpacking. So I do have the, the 20 degree uh, incubator, but I don't have a 20 degree top quilt, so I take a little extra weight, but it's just currently what I'm working with here. So those are my quilts. <clears throat> uh, and lastly, for sort of my shelter, I have my tarp here. This is a war bonnet. Uh, this is a Superfly tarp. I have 30 feet of, um, this is Zingit on the ridge line. I have 10 feet of zingit on each um, the corner tie-outs. That's 10 feet for each corner. I then have 5 feet for each door tie-out. So that's 4 doors times 5 feet of zingit for those. And I have 20 feet of zingit for each um, pull-out. Uh, that's per side. So 20 feet of zingit per side. Um, and then I also have two micro beaners here. And this is just the DIY double-ended stuff sack that I've made. Um, so that's sort of my hammock and shelter and insulation. Um, let's talk about my uh, the clothing that I bring along. Um, for my bottom layer, I have, these are uh, military surplus. These are called uh, ECWS, Extreme Cold Weather Service. Um, these have kept me extremely warm always, and this is really just more so what I sleep in or if it gets you know pretty cold while I'm you know sitting around the fire at night, I'll, I'll throw these on. Um, these have kept me extremely warm, uh, just as a base layer, uh, so I like to bring these with me. Um, that's the, sort of a base layer for some additional insulation. This is also, uh, these are military surplus as well, these are um, liner pants. I believe they're called M65 liner pants, and I've just kind of modded them a little bit. I've taken the, the buttons, uh, I've removed them, and I've sewn the, the side shut. These are usually you're able to sort of open the whole side up, but I uh, I prevented that from happening. I sewed the, the sewed the sides and removed the buttons. I also added a channel on the um, the top of the pants. There, added some shot cord through it. The same thing on the legs of the pants because these are really um, they're designed to sort of button into an additional pair of overpants. Uh, so I had to mod them a little bit so they'd fit a little more snugly. So those are my uh, that's my insulative layer for my bottom. Now we've got my top layer. I just carry a, um, this is just a polyester hat, um, you know, that you can get from any any old store. Um, that's kept me extremely warm. Uh, you know, if it gets a little more chilly, I have a down hood, but this has kept me warm even down into the, you know, the teens and, and single digits just to have this, and I have an additional balaclava that I wear. Um, and this has kept me extremely warm. I have a Eddie Bauer. This is a first ascent down sweater. Um, this is the uh, extra large version. I believe extra large tall. Eddie Bauer makes tall sizes, which I really appreciate. Uh, yeah, this is the extra large tall version. Um, most of my items are going to be extra large. I'm a, I'm a, a rather 
large guy, I guess. I'm about 6'2", 260, 270. So that's um, sort of my clothing, uh, insulation-wise. Once again, I can wear that around camp or, or what have you, or to, or to bed if need be. I have an extra pair of camp socks. Uh, these are smart wools. Um, so I wear those with me uh, in case my, my feet get wet or cold, or sometimes I just wear these right to bed. Uh, sometimes I just leave them right in my uh, right in my hammock and don't bother taking them out um, until I'm ready to go to bed. I have an Arrowhead equipment. Uh, this is, I believe, what's called the Cub. I'm not exactly sure. I think there are two sizes. This is the smaller of the two. Um, and that's extremely nice to have, uh, just to you know have something under your neck for a little bit of support. So that's my, my pillow. Um, let's talk about my food. Uh, this is food for the weekend. Um, I like to have, um, you know, I have a meal for each, you know, I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I like to also keep a couple candy bars in there. Um, you know, if it's getting a little chilly, I like to, to have one before bed. Um, so I usually pack, you know, one for each night that I'm going to be hanging out. It's just something that's worked for me to help keep me warm, stoke the fire throughout the night, um, and keep me warm. So that's what's worked for me. Um, let's take a look. Next item over here, I've got my, this is my poop kit. I've got some toilet paper. I've got a uh, MSR groundhog steak that I use just sort of as a trowel to kind of, uh, you know, dig out a cat hole, I guess. I've got some hand sanitizer, and these are some uh, sort of wet wipes. So that's, that heads out with me every time. Uh, let's keep moving down the line here. I've got my this is my eating kit. Uh, in one of my other videos, I display this in a bit more detail, but that's a uh, Ziploc mug with some um, some bubble wrap mailing uh, envelope material for a, a bit of a cozy. I have the Ziploc um, uh, the bowl on the bottom. That's what I actually eat my food out of. I've got a candle lantern in there, a uh, small plastic candle lantern. Once again, check out one of my other videos um, specifically on my cook kit in order to see what's what's all in here. I've also got a spoon in there as well. This is my uh, backcountry boiler. This is what I boil water in. Um, I also have, once again, this is displayed uh, in a bit more detail in one of my other videos, but uh, I've got the backcountry boiler. I've got the alcohol um, fire felt. Uh, sort of additional piece in there that you can use to make this an alcohol burner. I've got um, my fire starting materials in there, some jute twine uh, and some um, some candle wax, an additional lighter, um, and I've got two small bottles, uh, two ounce bottles of alcohol so that it's always by my, uh, my cook kit. Uh, I've already gone over my suspension, my tarp. Uh, this is my first aid kit. Um, in here I've got a couple of uh, Benadryl, I've got a small uh, needle with some thread, I've got a small little tube of super glue, a couple of safety pins, I've got liquid bandage, um, thanks to Monster Truck for that, uh, we were out a year or so ago and she had some liquid bandage that um, was just awesome, uh, it's got some disinfectant properties in it and also it sort of seals things up, so keep a small little bottle of that. I've got an additional little bit of fire starting material in here. Um, I've got a signal mirror. I've got some butterfly stitches, some various, uh, I think just a, a bandage or two. I've got an emergency uh, blanket in there. Um, and I've also got uh, a couple of uh, patches. These are sort of uh, the repair aid patches. Um, so that's my first aid kit. I've got uh, some alcohol. Um, this is an old uh, liquor bottle. Um, I found that those are extremely nice to carry your additional uh, fuel in. Um, so that's, you know, that's probably a little more than what I use. I usually bring a, a bit extra just in case. Um, but that's my alcohol. I've got uh, this is a platypus two liter um, water reservoir with some cordage on it. Uh, I bring that just for holding some extra water. <clears throat> this is my, I keep this readily accessible, this is a small tin of Altoid Smalls, some Burt's Bees for a lip balm, and some cough drops. These are Fisherman's Friends cough drops. If you 
haven't tried those boy those are uh, those are nice especially out in the woods it's nice sometimes just to uh, just to pop one even if you're not really having a sore throat you wake up maybe you've had a couple cigars the uh, night before it's nice to have a little something for a, a scratchy throat in the morning um, this is what I keep uh, relatively easily accessible um, this is in my hip belt pocket I keep my headlamp um, it's if I'm hiking in you know it's starting to get dusk I have my headlamp easily accessible I know where it's at I've got a balaclava this balaclava is um, this is a Comperdell balaclava um, got this from Sierra Trading Company a while back and it's sort of a thin uh, almost like a base layer material um, so I, I keep that easily accessible. Uh, I've got a pair of, these are military uh, surplus wool gloves. These are liner gloves. Um, and these are just nice to have. Um, it's their wool also, which is nice. You get them wet and they'll still keep you relatively warm. And these are uh, some wristies. Thanks to forum member Diva B for these. They fit very nicely. They keep your hands and arms nice and warm. They fit perfectly. Um, very nice to just have those on. So most of the time, I'll hike in those if it's, um, you know, if it starts to get a little chilly, I'll just throw those on. So that's uh, sort of that bit. I've got my bear bag here. This is a uh, just a small plastic. This is a black diamond plastic carabiner. This is a coat hanger toggle, um, just with a little piece drilled in it there with some mason line on it. And I've got uh, 50 feet of Dynaglide in there. This is just a small stuff sack. Um, so that's my bear bag. Um, really looking into a an earth sack or something like that. I, I Sometimes it's a little obtrusive to have to, you know, you get to camp and you have to set up all your stuff if you show up at, you know, at dusk. Then you've got to now throw a bear bag and hang your food up and everything else. It'd be nice to just have an earth sack just to kind of tie to a tree. So I'm looking into that um, for the future. Um, won't need this for this weekend because there's water, there's a water source provided, um, potable water, but, uh, this is my DIY gravity filter. Um, if the, I've got another video specifically on the, these, uh, this item here, but it's the Hiker Pro, uh, water filter, uh, the cartridge, and this is the DIY gravity filter kit. Once again, I, I don't bring this out if I know I'm going to a location that has potable water already. So I won't be using this this weekend, but that will go out with me on, on more weekends than, than not. Uh, I've got two. Uh, these are smart smart water bottles. They're very nice. They're uh, a liter bottle, and they fit very nicely. Um, I made some, some water bottle sort of carriers, um, and these fit very nicely in those. So you basically have two liters of water that are easily accessible. This is just a sort of a DIY attachment thing I made. This is just the top I... I drilled a small hole in there and it's very very snug on that um, on that tubing uh, this is watertight actually I've turned this upside down and it's held uh, but the tubing goes down into the bottle there um, and this is just a shut off valve so this is nice you know mind you this is going to be on my um, you know on my pack uh, you know right on the shoulder straps and I can still drink from it so I don't have to stop walking so that's kind of nice um, you know if it's starts to get a little chilly I just go with the straight um, you know, bottle cap on it, but this is nice to have if it's going to be nice and warm throughout the day. I can just drink while I'm walking. Um, these are my Crocs. Uh, these are actually kind of a generic Croc. I got these at a dollar store a couple years ago, um, and these are actually pretty comfy to wear around camp, um, so I usually bring those. Um, and moving our way to the end here, we've got, I keep these items easily accessible. Oh, I forgot these are my uh, rain mitts. Um, I keep these easily accessible as well in the hip belt pocket. Um, I seam sealed these myself, so once again, not extremely pretty, but uh, they're real watertight. And these are nice to, to wear. Um, if you just even throw these on just by themselves, you'd be surprised with how much heat you'd get in your hands. Um, I had a friend um, go backpacking with us a, a year or more ago and she forgot her uh, gloves and it ended up dropping down much colder than we had anticipated. I gave her my liner gloves just to wear around and I just had these to wear around camp for the whole uh, weekend and these kept my hands extremely warm down into the 20s at night uh, just around camp. So you'd be surprised with how warm um, you know these keep your hands. So this is a nice little addition to have. Um, and lastly these items here I've got a wind shirt. This is a 
actually a cycling wind shirt. I picked this up from TJ Maxx, actually. It's a Columbia um, wind shirt. This is size XL. Um, this, you'd be surprised also with how much warmth is created by, a, uh, by just a wind shell on top. And I keep that easily accessible to throw on while I'm hiking, if need be. I've got my rain shell here. This is a pair of Go Light Reed pants, R-E-E-D. I don't believe they make these anymore. Um, but that's once again in size XL. And this is a Go Light, um, this is a Go Light rain shell. Um, and this once again is in XL. Um, that's a nice little addition to have if it's going to be raining. And sealed up in a separate uh, gallon Ziploc bag. That is a Patagonia number no. 4 uh, base layer that I also keep easily accessible. I keep that outside of my pack liner. Um, so it's, once again, nice and easily accessible. I can just uh, open the top of my pack up. And it's going to be, you know, sealed away from the elements in the, in the Ziploc container. I, you know, I suck the air out of here before I pack it up. Um, so it's going to be, you know, free from, free from water if it's raining on me. And it's nice to have at the top of the pack to throw on if it gets a little chilly, if I stop for lunch or, or if things start to, the temperatures start to drop while I'm hiking in. So that's, um, sort of all the items that I usually carry out with me on an average three season, uh, sort of three season weekend trip. First off, my uh, trail running shoes. Um, these are they're called Nike Alvord, A-L-V-O-R-D, uh, and the number nine. Um, I had the eights last year, and uh, pretty much wore them out. So these are brand new for this season. Same similar design. Uh, it's just this year's new reissue. Um, so those are my trail runners. Um, I really like them. Like I said, I wore out the ones last year. Um, I just I like the feel. They fit my foot really well. I have kind of a wide foot. Um, these are size 13, uh, and they, they fit my foot extremely well. So that's the uh, the trail runners. I have a pair of, uh, these are just um, runner shorts. Uh, they have a little internal mesh kind of netting, um, kind of like a swim trunk sort of, but these are made for running. I have a pair of, uh, these are just wicking boxer briefs. I have a Patagonia, it's a silk weight sleeveless shirt. Um, it's going to be in the 60s during the day hiking and so forth. So. Pretty much, um, I would if it was going to be a little more chilly, I'd add a number one long sleeve um, or a number two long sleeve. That's about as as much as I go um, as far as insulation during hiking. I was out in the 20s or so with a number two Patagonia on um, and was sweating. Um, so I would just really even you know go with it with a number one with a wind shirt over a number two, um, you know Patagonia number two that is. Um, so that's just a sleeveless silk weight um, that I'll go hiking in. I have a pair of number one uh, base layer bottoms um, that I wear under my uh, running shorts. I've got a pair of uh, smart wool socks. I've got a Patagonia, uh, it's kind of like a runner's cap, um, but I usually hike with that just to keep the sun out of my eyes. And that's my, um, that's my Mora knife uh, with some, uh, some other accoutrements to it. Um, I've got a separate video specifically on the more modifications, but that uh, always stays around me even when I'm hiking or hanging around camp. I pretty much sleep with it on, um, just so that it's, that it's always on me. So that's what I'm hiking with. So once again, thanks for watching, everyone.